So starting with you as a mother, how should you position yourself? You should make sure that you have um, you support your back with a wall or maybe get a pillow or something. So I'm going really to breastfeeding the baby with my left, sorry, my right foot supporting your baby's head. So your wrist should also make sure that you're also not curving your baby. So you put four of your fingers up. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Evelyn and I'm a registered midwife. This is Midwife's Diary and on Midwife's Diary we talk about everything maternal and newborn care. So if these are the kind of topics that you're interested in, then hey, kindly consider subscribing to the channel so that anytime I upload a video of such nature, you are going to be notified. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. So if you've been following me, you realize that I am on a journey of breastfeeding positions so today we are delving into one of the positions i like very much not just because of the name but also because of the comfort and the relief of pain it gives to mothers especially after they've undergone cesarean session so moving on to today's video the football hold breastfeeding position. So now let's get into the real position. So starting with you as a mother, how should you position yourself? You should make sure that you are sitting in a chair that has armrests like mine. If you are sitting on a bed, make sure that you have um, you support your back with a wall or maybe get a pillow or something. So as you can see over here, I have a pillow at the back of my chair. So make sure that you always have pillows supporting your back. In this position so you get your pillow supporting your back make sure that your back is upright so that you the mother you are going to be comfortable in this position and now we bring the baby so we get another pillow which is going to help support the baby over here so I'm going to be breastfeeding the baby with my left sorry my right breast so I am positioning the pillow over here so in positioning your baby you make sure that your thumb and your index finger are behind your baby's ears, supporting your baby's head. So your wrist should also be in between the shoulder blades of your baby. I explained this well in the video about the cross cradle breastfeeding position as well. So then you bring your baby to your side, this way. So don't bring your baby too forward. You bring your baby, sorry, to this side whilst your baby's body is resting on the pillow and then you tuck your baby's body under your arm like this so don't bring your baby too forward just bring the baby at the level where your breast is and if the pillow is not giving you that elevation you can always add more pillows so that you'll be able to elevate your baby to the level of your breast so once you've held the baby's head like this you don't put pressure on the baby's head you let the baby find the breast him or herself so you put your baby's oh uh, sorry you put your baby's nostrils at the level of the nipple so in that case it will help the baby to find the nipple himself so your baby will now be searching for the nipple upward and not be turning downwards so something like this i hope you get what i'm trying to say so as you have your baby all tagged in like this, make sure that you're also not curving your baby's body in like this. You make sure that th your baby's body is in a straight line over here as the ear, the shoulder, and the hip, they are all in a straight line for comfortability and also for your baby to be able to swallow very well. In this case, you support your breast if the breast is too heavy for the baby. So, you put four of your fingers under your breast and then the thumb on top of it. But the thumb is not on top of it for you to be squeezing the breast into the baby's mouth. So once the baby is able to find the breast and all of that, it will even help with the reflexes of the baby. The baby is able to find the breast and all of that. You can leave the breast. That is, if the breast is not too heavy for the baby. If it is, then please keep on supporting the breast with four fingers beneath and then one finger on top. So simply, this is the football hold breastfeeding position. And as you can see, 
if let's say I had a cesarean section and I have an incision over here, this breastfeeding position is going to help me because there won't be pressure on the incisional side with the other positions like the cradle position where I have the baby across my tummy and all of that. This position is also very good for mothers who have uh, premature babies and also for mothers who have very large breasts. You the mother, you also be able to have a bit of breast control whilst you're breastfeeding your baby. In this case, whilst you're breastfeeding your baby and let's say the breast is covering the nostrils or let me say the nose of your baby, do not use your hand to press it. Don't do that. Else you could be blocking the milk ducts. So you just use your wrist that is resting in between the shoulder blades of your baby to just press onto the back a little bit and it will help bring your baby's head back like this and then the breast that is attached to the baby's nipple sorry the baby's nostrils will be released or you can squeeze in at the bottom like let me do it like this so you just once your hand is here you just squeeze in like this and then it will tilt your baby's head backwards and then your baby's nostrils will be released from the breast this position would also help you so that you get a good view on how your baby is latching onto the breast you'll be able to look at your baby's face whilst your baby is also able to look at your face and then there will be this motherhood baby connection so as you can see this breastfeeding position would also be very good if you have twins so i am going to make a video describing how you position your twin babies in this breastfeeding position so please do well to follow my channel so that when i upload the video you are not going to miss it thank you so much for your time i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you learned something from it please leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any other feedbacks for me and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel please share this video with other people but before i meet them always remember that there's no one correct position for all babies explore the positions available and choose one that is comfortable for you and then for your baby but the most important thing is for your baby to be able to latch very well onto the breast. If your baby is able to take in not just the nipple but also the areola into the mouth as well and your baby is having a deep latch and is able to have sufficient breast milk, then you are good to go. Thank you so much. I'll see you next week. This is Midwife's Diary. As and always, we are walking the talk of motherhood. So I am going to be make I'm going to make a so I am going to make a breastfeeding position. Going to make a video. video.